immigrants who have TPS, temporary protected status, they have been living here because of either natural disasters or because of strife in their particular country. That's why TPS is given 10, 20, 30 years. A lot of people with TPS originally came without inspection then got TPS because of the natural disaster that happened in their particular country or the war that was happening in their particular country. I have a big problem. I came from Haiti for vacation and the earthquake happened 10 years ago. So I get TPS. I never get illegally in the country. Okay. So I used to feel since then until the last one that Trump tried to stop on 2019, Biden put a new way designation. So I apply for that from 2021 until now, my case didn't move and I never received anything. And now the registration will be end by March 27th this year. So I don't know what to do because I never received nothing from them. What you need to do, because you're eligible for the TPS, they have to make a decision on your case. They just can't not make a decision. What I would do in your situation is threaten a mandamus. If immigration doesn't make a timely decision on a case, they begin to violate your rights. And a no decision is the same as a denial. If they don't make a decision on your case, you're in the same position as getting a denial. You have no benefits. My advice is that they're mm-hmm. violating your rights by not making a decision, and we should be threatening a mandamus. I came here in 2010, but I was in the TPS. And then a couple of years later, then I, I got married to my husband. He's a green card holder. Right. And we have kids together and all of that. We applied in May 2017. Right. And then we did the I-485 September 2018 of last year. Is he a citizen? No, he's a green card holder. Okay. They accepted your adjustment application? Yes, they did. And um, I did the biometrics because I was told the final action dates are current. I was wondering based on that, so is there a visa available? You came to the United States from what country? Haiti. Okay, and you were out of status for a while in America? When I first came, it was after the earthquake in Haiti uh-huh. in 2010. Then when I, I came on a um, B-2 visa, and then from there in 2010, I applied for the TPS. So you were, there was never, and a day, said, never a day you were out of status? No, I was never out of okay, status. Okay, fine. Okay, so then, yes, you'll be able to adjust. You filed in 2018. You should be getting an interview soon. I should be getting the interview soon? soon yeah. My husband was deported. He came to your office and spoke to someone, and she told me that he had to wait the full 10 years. He's also in Freeport, Bahamas. He did an interview last year. Of course, they denied him. They're doing the boat from the Bahamas because he's one of the individuals yeah, that you, literally is walking the street yeah, right you're, now. You're gonna have to. He, you're gonna have to send him money because they're not gonna let him back just because of the hurricane. Oh, because that's the question that he was gonna, asking. If he came he, on, no, they're not they're gonna, not gonna let, let, him, let him in. No, send him money, get him some shelter. He can't find anything. No, he was removed twice, so there's no waiver for okay. that. Okay. All right, so or send he, him money. He has to wait there 10 yes, years. Send him money, get him shelter, and then go from there. And I'm not sure, he may oh. even have a longer bar, so I would need to look at this. I have good news. What's My good case news? just got approved oh, today. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. It was the I-130 petition form. What I'm worried about is my husband. He is in Haiti. We still got to push it along, okay? So yeah. you have to expedite in each stage. So now that your case is moving to the National Visa Center, you have to do another expedite at the National Visa Center. Get the case okay. through the National Visa Center, get it to the point where he's documentarily qualified, that he's ready for an interview in Haiti, and then let's get to that stage and try to see how he's going to get in there. We'll see what, you know, we don't know what the country conditions are going to be in Haiti on a week by week basis, but what you can do right now is expedite it through the National Visa Center. Haiti has had multiple tragedies time and time again, and, you know, just in the recent with the floods and then hurricanes and now the the earthquake and um, just a terrible, terrible, terrible thing that's going on there now. My hearts go out to everybody who is in this situation, who has friends, family there. You go to bed at night, you know, people who are listening to us, you thank God that you're safe and sound. Sometimes it helps put everything into perspective, what's important in life and what's not when you see such tragedies happen. And it's just a terrible, terrible situation. It's a terrible thing, and I hope that America does the right thing. Department of Homeland Security should immediately, 
immediately provide temporary protective status to every Haitian who is here in America, whether legal or not legal. There is no way that any Haitian right now should be sent back home to Haiti. Haiti can't deal with the people that they have there right now based on this tragedy. Countries that have had lesser tragedies than this have received temporary protected status.